Good morning, YouTubians. It's Kermit's Ghost. How are you? You can call me Alan. It is Monday, the 5th of August, 2019. Christmas is a come in. It's what, 16 weeks to Christmas now? Never mind. Anyway, first things first, it's a Blu ray hunting Monday. So I'm going to go to McDonald's, get a cup of coffee first. Still not a sponsor. Then I'll pop into HMV and I'll film everything that's been released today, whether I'm going to buy it or not. There's only a couple out that I want, maybe three. I think three. Uh, two or three? I think it's three. And uh, you know me, I picked up a few during the week anyway, so there's quite a few to show you at the end, as per usual. Uh, also, I've set up a Facebook account. The link should be down below. Go and check it out. Um, befriend me or, or poke me or whatever it is you have to do on Facebook nowadays. I don't know. And um, that'll be that. So off to HMV now, and let's see what they've got. See you soon. So here's the coffee shot. First thing in the morning, you cannot beat Arabica beans. Lovely. Here we go, missing link. I know a few missing links for sure. Straight over to the new and trending. And talking of missing link, this has the voice talents of Hugh Jackman, Zach Galifianakis, Stephen Fry, Zoe Saldana. Domino, this is from this year in fact, and it's from Signature Entertainment. Glosses of New York is from 1958 and it's only 70 minutes long. And then we have a Crack in the World, this is from 1965 and this is 96 minutes long, 9.99. Gloria Bell, this was last year's film about a 50 year old plus woman seeking love in the LA dance clubs. It's in the two for 25. Kiss Me Deadly is from 1955, 106 minutes long and it stars Ralph Mika, 17.99. This is White Crow. This is um, the story of Rudolf Nureyev when he defected to the West, and it stars Ralph Fiennes. Now look at this T-shirt. That's Liam Mutley. Fantastic. And we're going to have a quick look over the horror because I don't often touch on the horror section in HMV. And something catches my eye. Boo. Hey everybody, welcome back. Now these are the pickups for today. Now there are eight to show you. I did have some TV shows, but I'm almost done with my uh, A to Z collection. And when I've done the Z, then I'll go on to TV shows. And you don't want to see them twice. So I'll just do the pickups for today. Crosses of New York. And it says here, after an accident, or an accidental death of a brilliant scientist, his lunatic father and brother transplant, uh, transplant the dead man's brain into the body of a giant robot. I couldn't pass that up. This was 9.99. It's 101 films release, and the stip is the same as the cover, so that looks good to me. And they also did 101's uh, "Crack in the World." It's about a mad scientist who wants to tap into an energy source at the Earth's core. He's dying. He he wants to set off a thermonuclear device, which obviously "Crack in the World" bit of a giveaway. So that's that one. Two of those. Next one, I saw this in um, a charity shop. I was walking past there, it was in the window, and it's called The Company You Keep. It's got Robert Redford in it, and I will tell you, it's got also Shia LaBeouf, uh, Sam Elliott. I haven't got my glasses, because it's really sunny, I've got sunglasses on. Brendan Gleeson, Terence Howard, Richard Jenkins, Anna Kendrick, Stanley Tucci, Nick Nolte, Susan Sarandon, and a, and a few more other people as well. But what a film I didn't even know this existed and I don't know what it's about because it's in looks like uh, Norwegian or something like that but it's uh, it's region B locked and there you go that is the company you keep I saw people picking this up in the States uh, the Phenom uh, their Dollar Tree pickups and uh, I did want this a while ago but it didn't have a release but I noticed now that it's got an Australian release and it's about a guy um, Johnny Simmons, he's a bit, uh, baseball pitcher, and he has a bit of a breakdown on the um, uh, during the game. So he's sent to his shrink, played by Paul Giamatti. He finds out there's issues with his father, who's played by Ethan Hawke, and it's kind of like a, a sports movie, but with um, uh, like dealing with uh, like a drama with his past and all that sort of thing. So that looks good. Phenom, I think that cost me about a tenner. The Castle of um, Cagliostro. 
Cagliostro. Now this is by uh, Hayao Miyazaki. This is debut film from the creator of Spirited Away in Ponyo. And I've seen the trailer. This was a recommendation for me. So I thought I'd pick this up. This looks really good. That's that one. Domino. This is Guy Pearce. And that was one that sold it for me. But you've also got that Nicolaj Costa Waldo. He played, um, I don't know if I've said that right. He was in Game of Thrones as uh, the, the King Slayer, the, the one with the golden hand. Uh, well, he's the one on the cover right there. You'll probably recognize him from that. And two more. First one is Dream Girls. I was watching this at someone's house and there was a big power cut. So I've only seen like maybe 45 minutes of this. So I need to go back. Great cast this. Jamie Foxx, Beyonce Knowles, and Eddie Murphy and Jennifer Hudson. Really enjoying what I was watching. So let's go back and give it another go from the start this time. And the last one. But there is something else to show you. So don't switch off just yet. Uh, Thief of Baghdad. This this was um, used eight pound from CEX. Bit steep, but get a nice bit of artwork, and you also get the original posters from around the world, which looks really good. And it's a sort of like story of Aladdin with the genie and the three wishes and all that sort of thing. Got a big giant genie on the back. Uh, it's from 1940, uh, December 1940. So looking forward to that. One of those old sort of um, Saturday morning cinema sort of films and that is a, and this came through the post for me today and it is the um, what I got at the London Film and Comic Con the guy said this was used in the film Batman by the Joker I don't know you know authenticity if it was or not I don't know if you'd be able to sell it if it wasn't out there but I don't think they'd let him in he was selling fakes but that's that I will stick it in the frame and I'll probably show you when I've done it it's um, quite a hefty knife and it's, it's quite it's quite sharp too but that is the knife. Oh, he dropped it and had gone right through my leg. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much for watching. If you've seen any of those films, uh, let me know. If you've got any uh, recommendations, let me know that too. Um, missing Link. I was going to get that today, but I might probably go back up in a minute and go and get it because that looks intriguing. I know a few Missing Links. Okay, uh, leave a question or comments, whatever, down below. And um, check me out on Facebook down the bottom there should be a link and I will see you in the next video. Take care.